Well, good day. I'm Dwayne Mass. Welcome to today's Living Word. We're continuing in the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, looking at verses 28 and 29. This is the burden which came in the year that King Ahaz died. Do not rejoice, all you of Philistia, because the rod that struck you is broken. For out of the serpent's roots will come forth a viper, and its offspring will be a fiery flying serpent. That's our text, Isaiah 14, 28 and 29. King Ahaz is dead, and God uses the opportunity to unload against those thorns in the side of his people, the Philistines. Now, at this point, it would do well to revisit the reign of King Ahaz, who came to power at the ripe old age of 20, and the Bible tells us he reigned 16 years in Jerusalem, and he did not do what was right in the sight of the Lord his God. A poor spiritual and moral leadership of King Ahaz opened the door to military gains by the Philistines as they conquered and occupied several cities in Judah. Second Chronicles did the cities of the lowland and Ajalon, Gedaroth, Sukkot, with its villages, Timnah, with its villages, and Gimzo, with its villages, and they dwelt there. So a lot of territory had been conquered by the Philistines. Then why were they successful in conquering these cities? Well, because the Lord used the Philistines to humble Ahaz due to his unfaithfulness to the Lord. It brought Judah low because of Ahaz, king of Israel, for he had encouraged moral decline in Judah. And Now, how did he encourage moral decline? Well, 2 Kings 16.3 tells us he walked in the way of the kings of Israel. Indeed, he made his son pass through the fire according to the abomination of children of Israel. In other words, he gave state approval to child sacrifice. The state of our own nation, we have given state approval to child sacrifice ever since the night B. Wade that legalized the killing of unborn children through the act of to bring us low as a nation. Well, we haven't been physically invaded by any of moral decline. Much ground has been lost due to our own unfaithfulness divorce, and more continue to eat away at God's righteous standards for living. The bankrupt Philistines of our day seem to be gaining ground every single day. It's a mess that only God can straighten out, and he will if we turn to him. Moral ground can be retaken by a few and I, the people who are called by God's name, Christians, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked way in and heal their land.